how to stay sober. This is by far the most frequently asked question from people that watch this channel. It makes sense because it feels nearly impossible in the beginning. How do you give up your vice in good times? But if you stick to it, you'll start to realize you aren't willing to give up your life for some substance. My grandma sent me a quote that words this perfectly. Addiction is giving up everything for one thing. Recovery is giving up one thing for everything. A lot of your mentality is based upon others' opinions and what you believe to be true. To be straightforward, you're wrong. It has become obvious that substances are not beneficial to your life, otherwise you wouldn't be trying to quit. But for some reason, you are trying to convince yourself that it gives you some sort of benefit because you don't know what it's like to live without it. Simply put, fear is one of the biggest factors you have to overcome to have longevity in sobriety. Fear of losing friends, fear of losing the life you know right now, and fear of not knowing what's going to happen next. Fear blinds you to think that these are actually losses. You simply only look at what you're scared of and don't look at the bigger picture of all that you can gain. If you are willing to commit to sobriety and make it through the fog, suddenly you will realize you are in control. You have made new friends that support you and you suddenly have been gifted with this newfound drive to make your life better. You have that choice now. A life in addiction is full of excuses of why you can't do this, why I need this, or why this just keeps happening to you. You are wrong. I'm sorry. It's true. You're wrong. You are the creator of your past, present, and future. The decisions you make when the world gives you opportunity or struggle will be a direct result of your soon-to-be past, present, and future. You have to get past your mental blocks before you are able to see the benefits and beauty behind recovery. It's a battle with self, and you will have to accept that what you believe is wrong and become willing to learn a new way to live. This leads to removing influences from your life that will bring temptation or that are unsupportive of your goal. This journey isn't easy, and there is no reason to make it harder for yourself by having anything or anyone around you that tempts you to give up on your goal, especially at the beginning. Learning how to become honest with yourself and about what these temptations are, and also your own fault is another huge step in getting through the fog. Your ego loves to tell you you're right, and that you can do anything, but honestly, you can't. The sooner you accept this is the sooner you reach your goal. Of course, that goal is to stay sober, but you need to have more goals than just this. Setting small goals that are very attainable give you more determination to keep moving forward. Goal setting and attainment is a huge part of a happy and successful life. And it will amaze you just how quickly you can attain your goals in sobriety in comparison to your active addiction. Review this channel if you need evidence. In the 10 years before I created this channel, I was in active addiction and was barely achieving much more than simply surviving. In this short six months, you can watch myself attain goals and those are just the ones I've decided to show you. I have outdone those 10 years in a short six months, all by becoming sober and following the advice I'm giving to you right now. If you're one of the people that has reached out to me, don't feel singled out because many people have. And a lot of the times I find it hard to answer the question because I had to be very blunt. And this is the truth, it's up to you. It's up to you if you really wanna change your life. Trying to keep old habits, old friends that put you in scenarios that you're in right now that you're trying to get away from is not going to help you. You have to decide what's best for you and do the best things for you. And if you don't want to be living in addiction, you have to separate yourself from it. And that's just the truth. I want the best for each and every single one of you. And there's tons of outlets for you to take if you want it. There's meetings, there's online meetings where you can be anonymous. There's rehabs, there's all these opportunities. And of course, reach out to friends or people like me who have been through this. I'm more than willing to talk with you, more than willing to help, but the first person that has to help you is yourself. The only person that can do this for you is you. And there's no one else that's gonna walk you through it. There's no easy way out other than just deciding to do it and sticking to what you said. There's no falling back. There's no one day I'm just gonna have a slip day. You either do it or you don't. So decide, 
make a decision and start taking steps forward. I truly believe that anybody can get out of addiction. I was in one of the darkest places that you've ever seen. I was a drug dealer. I was that guy that you that you read about, that you see in the movies. I was that dirt ball that was doing the wrong things and making the wrong decisions. But I got out and I'm making a difference for myself and I wanna make a difference for other people. One day at a time, you can do this. I believe in you, you need to believe in yourself.